alcohol. Hey guys, what's up? It's Dear. So, a couple of days ago, like, this realization hit me. And I was like, holy fucking shit. Okay, I didn't really think of this realization, but I saw a post from someone on Tumblr, and they were like, oh my god, my fanfics can be read to me through my iPhone. And I was like, they can, because you can, like, do a speak now and highlight the word and it can be read to you through your phone. So I was like, oh my god, because this would solve all my struggles of reading fan fiction at night. So, if you read fan... <laughs> so, if you read fan fiction like me, you would know that reading a fanfic in your bed with your phone... <laughs> it's pretty hard sometimes. First of all, basically, you're laying like this, and you're basically tired as fuck, because usually I do, I read fan fictions while I'm going to bed. So I'll be laying down with my phone like this, and I'll be like, because like, you know, there's light, and I'll probably invert the screen to make the screen black, but I'm still like, and then you kind of start to drift, and then your fucking arm starts going numb. So then you turn over, and then you do the same thing. And then you turn back over and you switch arms even though it's uncomfortable. And then I'll admit it, I've like fallen asleep reading a fanfiction and children with fanfiction. And then I'll wake up and then I'll be like, Ugh, and then I'll go back to bed. And then when I read the fanfiction the next day, I'm at the part where I left off, but I don't remember because I subconsciously read it. So then I have to go back a couple of pages and it's just the fucking struggle. And that's what it's like reading fanfictions in the bed. And sometimes it's comfy, but then you, what, like what I just said, it gets so uncomfortable and I'm just like, how? So I was like, holy shit, I could have like my fanfics be narrated to me and it would be beautiful. They could be read to me and it would be like a nice bedtime story of Harry and Louie falling in love and maybe those words being read to me would seep into my mind and I could dream about them like fucking like on a hill somewhere. So all you have to do is you have to go on your phone and you pick settings, general, accessibility, and then speak now. So then I did that, right? And I highlighted my fanfiction and I put it by my bed and I click speak. Then basically Siri started reading to me. So it was basically Basically like, the sky was very beautiful, and then Louie with his sparkly blue eyes looked into the green eyes of Harry East Eye. And I was like, that's really creepy. Because if I woke up like in the middle of the night and the fan fiction was still being read, if I woke up and I heard Siri's voice in the dark, I would be like, I would be like, call the police. So it was so scary. But then I realized that something really good could come out of this. Imagine Siri reading you Larry Smut. Do you know how fucking awesome that would be? So since I am an awesome, nice person sometimes, I want to give you guys the gift of being able to be read Larry Smut by the one and only Siri. She's literally the best narrator ever. So let's do that right now. Um, stay in charge. But as he looks up at Harry, he realizes he's still completely in charge. He hums to himself, pleased, as he sucks his son's cock, letting his tongue glide along it and drawing out hushed whimpers and pleas from the boy. He loves making them feel good more than anything. When Harry starts sounding more desperate, Louis replaces his mouth with his hand. <laughs> Trust me, these aren't my fanfics. I literally just looked up Larry Style and said smut on Google. Oh my god, that's the best thing in the world. Following around him, and his eyes never leave Harry's face. He loves watching his son come undone. His son? He loves studying every movement of his Who face. Who the fuck? When Harry is finished and Louis has swallowed every drop, he finally gets up and hugs the boy. Harry is still trying to catch his breath as Louis kisses his neck, rubbing a calming hand over his back. <gasps> Louis stops teasing his poor sleeping fiancé and leans up just enough so that he can part his lips and take the tip of Harry's cock inside it so, so hard now. Oh my Think god, Siri Louis just makes this feel real to me. Are you guys ready for the hotness of what's about to come? Yeah, Louis asks. Raising an eyebrow as he pushes his finger fully inside, you want me to fuck you again. M H M M. Harry Nazi girly. Nazi girly. You to take me to see that that huge Jesus statue. Then I wanna take a nap with you. 
Fuck. By the pee pool. Then I wanna go shopping at the, oh, oh, the markets and run away with you. Louis ducks his head between Harry's legs so Harry doesn't see the way Louis's cheeks have. Ducks harder. Bobs his head quicker as he tries to focus his fingertips on that little nub. He wraps his free hand around the bottom part of Harry's cock that, unless Louis is deep throating, he can't usually reach with his mouth, and focuses his mouth on those first sensitive couple inches of Harry's cock as he starts to work the rest with his hand that leaves him exactly zero hands to pay attention to his own cock. But Louis is so hard at this point, he knows it won't take more than. <laughs> okay, we're done. That was so much fun. Oh my god, okay. All I did was look up Larry Smut on Google, and I came across someone calling Louis Daddy and his son. So if you're writing incest fix, rethink your life. I'm sorry, but it's gross. I know they're not related, but no. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. That's all I wanted to do. So... I'm doing better. My grandpa did pass away, and I know I said I wasn't going to make videos for a long time, but I can't just sit in my room and be sad, because he wouldn't want me to do that. He would want me to make videos for you, make videos for people that care about me ranting and care about my annoying voice every week. Again, thank you if you watch my videos, because I respect it, because you give me something to do, and you, I want to talk to you guys about this unimportant stuff that we have no life over, because we both care about it. And you guys say the nicest things, and it blows me away, and it hasn't hit me. This is awkward. <laughs> but yeah, I love you guys, so that's all I wanted to say, so bye!